I don't know, but I, I have a feeling that Lamar Jackson just got a bang, baby! Not my words. That was my guy, Aiden. He just sent me that DM on Instagram because Lamar Jackson looks like he may be trolling yet again. Or, or is he? We will never know. But Lamar Jackson just posted himself, a picture of himself on his story. Just throwing a football. But, of course, he had on a Ravens hoodie and the hat and stuff. Uh, it was one of them games where he was sidelined. But um, that led a lot of people to believe that Lamar Jackson, oh, he's starting it up again. And this is how you know when one man has the city of Baltimore and the state of Maryland and the state of Florida. Don't forget about us down here, too. But when he got them wrapped around his finger because any little move that he makes, any little picture that he posts, especially if it got a Ravens jersey on there, it could send the shockwaves through the entire community. Uh, so shout out to Lamar Jackson. Then he, then he posted a, a video that was put together by his production company. Um, and it had Lo Shimmy in the background rapping. Now, um, the caption on that video, it said it's a lot of whispers like the island of the dolls in my universe. I don't know what that's from. I don't know if that's one of Lo Shimmy's bars from the actual song that was in the background. I have no clue. So I ain't even going to try to break that down. I'm not. I'll let y'all do that this time. But anyway, something that I did uh, want to talk about on a more serious note. Uh, Brad Spielberger from PFF. Um, he did a projection of a Lamar Jackson contract. What a Lamar Jackson contract could possibly look like. Um, now, he did not put whether it would be from the Baltimore Ravens or not, but that's that's besides the point. Um, and these were the numbers that he put. He said, um, five-year, $260 million deal uh, with $208 mil in total guarantees. So, um, did the math. That is uh, 52, uh, 52 mil per year. Um, and to find that out, whenever you want to know the uh, average per year, uh, all you got to do is take the total amount of the contract and divide it by however many years the contract would be. And again, this example was five years, 260 mil. So you take 260 divided by five, boom, 52. That's it. That's it. Super simple. Um, so that would put him up there as far as average per year. Now, the guarantee part, because that's, that's where it's real right there, because it says 208 mil total guaranteed. It's a lot of guarantees right there. Um, that would be close to the top of the class, not at the top of the class, because, of course, you got Deshaun Watson. Um, he had the, what, 230 mil fully guaranteed deal. And, you know, like, you know, Steven Shotty, he don't want to do no fully guaranteed deal. Uh, most owners don't want to do no fully guaranteed deal. Um, and my guy, Nitro, when we had him on, he made a really good point about how that deal, that messed up the Ravens. That, that messed up the Ravens for sure, and it did. It did because, yeah, of course, the next quarterback up is going to want all that fully guaranteed. Now, we haven't heard directly from Lamar Jackson. We only heard rumors that he wants it fully guaranteed. But, I mean, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want a fully guaranteed deal? Like, it just it, it makes sense. Um, but this deal right here, uh, it's not bad. It, it's, it's really not bad. Um because it's obviously a lot of money, a lot of guarantees, five years. Um, it will put him up there as one of the top paid quarterbacks. But the thing about this projected deal is that it could change very, very soon uh, with the new league year right around the corner. Why? Because you got guys like Joe Burrow. He's getting ready to get paid. You got guys like Justin Herbert. He's getting ready to get paid. You got guys like Tua. He's eligible to get paid, but will he? I doubt it. But then you got guys like Jalen Hurts, who's getting ready to get paid. I mean, he, he got a Super Bowl to go play in. So he's a little busy. He can worry about the money after he takes care of the whole Super Bowl thing. But if he mess around and add a Super Bowl to his resume, ooh, ooh. It's going to be a beautiful thing for Jalen Hurts, man. Shout out to him. And then Patrick Mahomes, he's already paid. And he could possibly add another Super Bowl to his resume while being paid on that second contract. Um, but anyway, a lot of money going around. But back to my original point. Um, this deal, uh, this projected deal is definitely subject to change. It's subject to change for sure. And again, this is just a projection. It's an estimate. It's a guesstimate. It's not anything official or anything like that. But... 
it does look nice, but it, it looks nice right now. Uh, but it could look even nicer. And there were a lot of people that felt like, oh, man, Lamar, he should have took the money before. He should have signed that deal before. Lamar Jackson, you made a mistake waiting over and over and over and all this time. Lamar, ha, you messed up. See, that's why you need an agent, man. You need an agent to tell you to take the money. But him waiting has made the deal and the price continue to go up continue to increase so shout out to Lamar shout out to his camp for continuing to wait it out so we'll see how this whole thing ends up now one more thing I mean speaking of Joe Burrow we know he is going to get his money but something that I've seen floating around on Twitter today um is some apparent report that T Higgins that he wants a lot of money. He wants a whole lot of money. Um, and you know what? I forget that he was actually a second round pick. I think he was like at the top of the second round, I believe, because he was in he was in 2020. Right? I said, yeah, he was with Patrick Queen in 2020. Um, so 2020, he's been playing since then. It'd be 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. So he'll be this will be the last year of his deal, right? Yeah, this will be the last year of his deal. Um so he is eligible for a contract because he was a second round pick so he can get paid right now um and but and he don't have no uh there is no fifth year option i mean he plays like a first rounder but he's not technically a first rounder um so there's a report going around saying that he wants a lot of money but that he could possibly be traded now initially when i saw that i was like what ain't no way Bengals traded no t higgins like t higgins like one of them dudes man he, he one of them dudes, as we know, we saw it in the AFC Championship game. He's like that, man. The dude is nice. I mean, we and not even just in the AFC Championship game. We've seen it throughout his career. T. Higgins is a baller. Um, but also, Chase, Jamal Chase is obviously a baller, too. Um, he's going to get paid as well. Uh, and then Joe Burrow, too. So, with the Bengals in their history, they have this history of not really dishing out a lot of money but that history is obviously about to take a turn um but will t higgins be the odd man out now me and i tweeted about it too i'm like nah i don't see them trading t higgins i think they keep the band together i think they keep higgins uh burrow and chase all together but it is a possibility i guess that t higgins could be the odd man out um, especially with him being getting ready to, to be eligible to get paid like now, like right here, right now. Uh, again, he got one year left now. Um, and the thing about that, this way it gets so tricky. I know how what I would do because I want to put the best field on the team possible. What I would do if I was in their shoes, like all right, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pay all, all three of them, Burrow, Chase, and Higgins. But um, if if you know you're not going to pay him, Mm, that's where it could get ugly though Because if you know you're not going to pay him And he knows you're not going to pay him Then he could be like, you know what, I went out I want to be gone, I don't want to be here anymore You ain't going to pay me, Look, show me somebody who will Because what I would want to do I'd be like, alright, if we ain't going to pay you Let's let's try to run it one more time And a hey, third round comp pick That'll be it We would, Because yeah, I would want to really try to do my best To put everybody on the field together To put the best team on the field together One last time um, But again that's that. Because that's what I would have done with Orlando Brown Jr. And I had said that on here too. I was like, oh, I don't want Ravens to trade Orlando Brown Jr. Because I'd rather them keep him, especially just in case with all the injuries to Ronnie Stanley and stuff. Uh, but I I know I, they did get a first for him, but they gave up a second. But anyway, um, so yeah, I would try to keep everybody together. But I, I, I get it. I, I get it if you try to get something for somebody right here, right now, rather than waiting and just letting their contract expire and you're getting a third round comp pick. So I wonder what this offseason is going to look like over there in Cincinnati. Cincinnati got, um, they got some tough decisions to make. Um, a lot of y'all, when I tweeted about it, a lot of y'all brought up some really good points. I know one of my guys was like, hey, I ain't never think Tyreek Hill was going to get traded. And I told him, I said, hey, that's a good point. It's a really good point. And somebody else brought up the point that uh, how they expect it to be Burrow, Chase, and maybe Boyd, uh, but they expect Higgins to be the odd man out. So, hey, 
it could happen. Then, of course, you know, you know, Ravens fans, like, we think of every single possible scenario that there is ever. Um, and then there were a couple of Ravens fans that were like, hey, how, how would you feel if he came to the Ravens? What if the Ravens traded for T. Hit? And I'm like, hey, I would love, 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 love if the Ravens got T. Higgins. I know it ain't happening. We know it ain't happening. Uh, but, uh, man, mm, mm, mm. Cause he's nice. Then somebody talked about how they they had envisioned the Ravens drafting T. Higgins and having paired him with Hollywood and Lamar, saying it would just would have been just such a great match. But yeah. So anyway, um, we'll see what happens with that. This, of course, is going to be uh, just a crazy off season. It's going to be a very busy off season. It already has been a busy off season. We ain't even in the off season yet, but things have been busy uh, as they always are. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. But anyway, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Um, and I, I love how much fun y'all make every single day doing this. Thank you. Thank you for never taking anything too seriously. Thank you for enjoying yourself on here. Thank you for having fun on here because that's what it's all about. I mean, it's about business too now. But having a good time. Uh, is what it's all about that was my primary focus when we first started this channel was to be able to yeah talk football talk the serious about it talk the not so serious about it da, 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 da. but to sort of give everybody a break from because you know we got so many things that stress us out in the real world uh, we got so many things that bug us we got so many things that irritate us we got so many things that just drain us um that can take away from our happiness that can just stress us out we got so many things that we deal with everybody got things that they would they that they deal with whether you know it or not but i wanted this to be sort of a break a temporary break from all of that spend 5 10 15 minutes on here talking whatever we talking about and just give everybody a chance to relax a little bit but i love y'all i, I appreciate y'all so much and we out